Wearing white, trimmed in red and black, he weighed officially 198 and one half pounds. 17 victories, two defeats, 11 wins coming by way of knockout to Bezo, The Rock and Chuno. Fighting out of the red corner, Wearing black trunks, he weighed in 199 and one half pounds. Ten victories, no defeats, nine wins coming by way of knockout. Reigning, defending, WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Xander Yusef! To the right, turn to your corner and wait the bell. Good luck. The late, great Emmanuel Stewart. Uh, one of the greatest trainers ever and our former colleague and uh, now a dominant champion. And this division, the cruiserweight division, has been stereotyped to it. Similar in that regard to Gennady Golovkin, who sets up his power punching with an... Um, knows that he has a very crafty guy in front of him, so right now he's trying to feign him. Count power. Usyk is such a, a talent, with such a talent as an amateur, can dominate this division and move up and... Before the opening bell, when asked about his fighting style, Usyk... And as he does, good hook by Unchunu. Unchunu has gotten a little respect early from Uzik. And he can't reach them, but it's not like that's really not the case. Makes it very difficult to reach down to the gap. Wait, but Orlando Norris is much more conventional than that. What I like about Usik is that he's so smart that he hasn't even let a set until it's gonna matter. Until it's gonna definitely land. Remarkable. Patient, don't be too eager. Work behind your jab. Your jab, stay off side to your left side. You understand? Be patient. Don't run into nothing. You're boxing good. For two guy in Usyk's corner. Did you get a chance to talk to Russ about Usyk? A uh, guy who he thinks a lot of, thinks very highly of him. Ukrainian fighters from that Olympic team credit him with the... But he became the trainer, so who else could you credit? Amazing. Time great fighters having trouble with short, little, awkward guys. Roy Jones with Montel Griffin, who was an excellent fighter, who gave you more problems than you were used to in your first fight with him. Thanks, but let me just go on to you. <laughs> First of all, I was going to let him use his patience. I would use my patience to right. wear him true, but what it was was that he was a counterpuncher just as I was. Counter like he's a tall guy. That beast man much at all. And Mchunu has been able to... There's a good straight jab by Mchunu. Couple of body shots early. Then Usyk has been able to do. Yes, he has. Uh, right now, he has the lead. Um, he can get him some respect. Summer to take on Christoph Lovac. For the new year in the ring on January 28th with a boxing after dark doubleheader featuring Francis Ricky Mickey Roma. Francis... Nice. 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 41-year-old Sean Smith with more population, better sparring partners, a chance to improve, and he walked through new, doing a good job of leaning back on that back foot. Max, and that's what also makes it so awkward for a guy like Usyk, because Usyk, he's not showing Usyk anything. Because when he leads, he's missing and he's out in front. Target just a little bit more consistently. And Junu steps in and fires. He's not using it enough, Max. Uh, right there, you see he's allowing Unchunu for a taller fighter. There's something about the rhythm or lack of other fighters' timings off, Roy. Yeah, uh, he, he fights in a sporadic pace like that. You never know when he's going to just count behind it. And wound up getting hit on the cheek by right. Regions of the world have their own styles and rhythms to their style. Eastern fighters. And, and maybe also South Africa. So he's a cute boxer. You don't really see that from South Africa. Usually from yeah. South Africa, and um, he's not that type of a guy. He's a James Tony type. I think also that the world is becoming, the styles are becoming more homogenization of styles, or pollination, sorry, Ten of seconds. styles. I agree, Max. Chuno coming I mean, out on this right hook, constantly landing, give high one, but just enough, just right, the right jab right there. The right jab again, just enough third time. A short right jab on the way in from the shorter fighter. How Dating and Mchunu so far has landed one more punch, 19%. So the rhythm of the fight early seems to favor. Or a bazooka like Quarte. No, it's a, 
Round four begins. Harold, how did you score the first three rounds? <laughs> okay, Jim, I got to be so Imchuno. You know, Jim, in rounds one and two, Imchusik opened up. He, he sort of, you know, got the idea of how him rounds to one, to be so Imchuno. Uh, Usyk unleashed the left hand in the third round, and he goes into round four. Yeah, Jim, but the thing you don't like about it is that right now it looks like and that's not a good thing because there you go, that go a good shot. Now he's throwing a good left hand because he needs to get respect from one of the things that Usyk talked about going into this fight. Hisenko is kind of like that at times nowadays. Hey, stop. Doesn't like Umchuno as an opponent because Umchuno is not going to allow you to play around with him. He's like that, he's going to be right on top of thing. Now Usyk throwing some real punches. In the last minute, he's been countering freely and starting to land that left hand as you saw. Him. A good left hand. He also just threw a left hand that was about a foot short. And when I say he doesn't give you an opportunity to play much, I thought Usyk may have parried it with his shoulder. And we remind you while we watch the first of our two preliminary bouts of the Focus E3, he got the call to face Roy Jones for a vacant middleweight title, though he looked moments in Hopkins' illustrious career. On HBO, under a heavyweight. Those flashy fast hands, very, very difficult to deal with. I didn't deliver my adjustment of that high level of. It's just outsmarts him. It's like cat and mouse. There's a pattern in my, myself and never look back. And I took that fight. In RFK Stadium in Washington in 1993, and then Roy, the two kinds of fights. But in the first fight, was his inexperience a... Uh, my hand speed and my knowledge of the game. I was far more sophisticated as for... He had fought and had a lot of experience, but my... Uh, that was that was a privilege that was not a... That, that was, but at the same time, when he got out, he was beating a lot of guys who were on the same level, except my hands were put... Meanwhile, Usyk is doing his thing here in the fifth round. Adept at finding the target against him, Chuna. Yes, he's starting to touch and land those big punches. Something out in the last round, it looks like, that he's employing here. When I'm on my back foot, let me get inside a little bit. Was oh. backing up and looking at the uppercuts as if to say, hmm, this is something that you're trying to shock him. Usyk has to be careful, though, Jim. He's throwing shots that are out to catch a taller southpaw with. Chuno's a good fighter, and these are the kind of, you know, these are the rounds where the... Power punch is in round. Yeah, Usyk waking up now. Job by Usyk. Terrific one-two. Speed for a big man on that one-two. This is your fight now. For Alexander Usyk. Now he's ready. Double. Double hand like he's going to throw it and fire the right uppercut. Then the left hand. Right uppercut. Usyk with it behind the jab. Find a good left jab. The double followed by a great straight left over the top. That's what he's been trying to find. Then followed by a right. Three out of 68 punches. Imchunu, six out of 32 for Usyk than the rounds we had seen up to that point. Significant chance that we'll see why there's so much enthusiasm about Alexander. But he's able to land it accurately. On the other hand, because of that, I don't see him... Until he's assured that he's going to land it, then he turns it over like that. 80 or 90 mile now pitch until they find the opening. Like that. Say, do it right. And those are the... Which in his case would be his exposure to Lomachenko, although... As Max pointed out at the beginning of the spin, his trainer since the beginning of his pro career is no slouch. No hand speed and yes, accuracy for a big for guy. Yes. Six. He just turned the muscle on one of those left hands again too, Max. Yeah. Like got that him right hurt. there. Yeah. He's suddenly a different fighter they than the guy we were looking at in the first couple of rounds. With an unimpeded left counter shot, but that's all right. Imtuna has been stopped in both of his losses. And he, so Usyk is throwing freely yes, he let in Usyk, round six. He let Usyk go around him too. Usyk can handle himself, though. Flipping Usyk every now and then enough to stop Usyk from just running. Good left hand. First Good right knockdown hook. of the fight in this round. A couple of strong shots down the stretch, but overall it was another big round for Alexander. He's going flat out. You hang in there. Where's the spit bucket? About, about, she was speaking about the uppercut in the corner. That left uppercut right there is what really caused the knockdown. Uh, 
The trainer asked for, Ali asked for early. He asked for landing instead of the right, and that was the shot that really put Ntuno down. So right to the seventh. Harold Letterman, how do you have it halfway yeah, through? Look at him. I got his four rounds to score the knockdown. He gets an extra point. So that becomes a 10-8 round in Usyk's favor. But Usyk just does nothing but feel you out for two rounds. And then he opened up in the third. And he's been just movement to Usyk gives you. Yeah, gives you a whole lot of movement. Setting up. Good quick. Good counter left by Usyk. I love how Uzi places those punches. He places the taps with tap speed. The, the, at, at the top levels of boxing, the question is, if you're not, are you giving people something to watch? Now this has not been, but the answer for me with Usyk is yes, absolutely. He's giving you something. If you're a fan of boxing. You will like watching Usyk fight. Directions and shifting gears the way he does. And his feet, moves with his upper body, slips punches with his head fight. Those good pity pat punches. And Another. more awkward than Chuno. And Usyk has already scored two rounds. And the difference in power punches landed proceeds from the fact that greater and greater frequency. Yeah, yeah I think Chuno's power is gone, Jim. I said. Looking ahead, December 27, it's the premiere of Boxing's Best of 2016. Tradition of my show, The Fight Game. We review the year in the ring and hand out our... Make something team, boy. Come. Round eight of schedule 12. Olympic gold medalist Al Shrunks against Tabisu Nchunu of South Africa. But since that time, Usyk has been landing combinations. Has quick hands for a big man. Right. She throws with great frequency. Usyk landing punches in bunches once again. There's a that's him as if to say, the impudence of you landing those two counters. You do it. <laughs> this was my moment to put on a show. Oh, and you could fight. Deep offensive here, he probably could be an issue, but not really throwing a lot of the pads and stepping around left and stepping around right. Beautiful boxing that straight at Usyk the first two or three rounds. Since then, the like Uchuno, but see those punches right there, that left hand hand. Oh. You're dissuaded from going to the body because it's like, you know, your forearm's going to run into an... There's not much room there to throw to the body. So... Listen, please tell me, you're a man, he's a man. That's like very beautiful, let me tell you. Yeah. He's trying to survive now. Body shots, start to the body. See Usyk land a good low round left to the back. Try to look right there. A little bit open hand, but it was beautiful. And he steps back as to say, where they? <laughs> I love the look on his face. <laughs> he like he said, where they? The nerve of you. <laughs> Usyk's a guy who idolizes Muhammad right in, yep. and, and, and in and out of the ring idolizes Ali and showman against an awkward guy. It's January 17. <laughs> A day after mine. Uh -huh. Lots of good fighters right around there. Some good body work in this round. Yes, he is. And good pivoting, too. He pivots right down the middle. I love it. Capricorn is the star. Well, of course, Jim. I mean, come on. If you're a Capricorn, <laughs> I mean, if we celebrate, I mean, you know, Capricorns is what it is, you know? <laughs> Like the most philosophical, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. And Usyk, a Capricorn in this fight. Seven. Seven. And the score margin Eight. is beginning okay. to widen here. Yeah, and that's more fatigue sure. than anything. Yeah. He had him surrounded, and Imchuno said, let me get down here before oh, I land the shot. Good counter shot by Imchuno. Has it? Oh, good shot. Usyk oh, good shot. lands a big left over the top. Imchuno has done his best fighting of the fight in the last 20 or 30. Oh, After yeah. going down for the second time, and there's the third knockdown. So Alexander Usyk has a TKO victory. Very impressive performance by Usyk against a guy who wasn't co-op, not easy to hit, with a very awkward rhythm against a guy like that. And Usyk shows sportsmanship. 
going over to Harold. Jim, you know, I've said this to referees, on, and he gets up and he walks away. Very often, that means he don't want to fight no more. Quit. That's the time when Lumaret should have really thought about stopping it. Coming in, jab, one, two, basically. Another one, two. Double jab, left hand, and he goes down. We really wasn't hit with a shot, just with fatigue. And right there was doing it, so he came in with his last hurrah. Got caught with that left hand right there, and he went down. That put a bad gash over his right eye. At that time, it was all Bill Martinez for the official particulars on the technical knockout. Right here, boom, that was the left hand right there that did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Referee Dr. Lou Moret puts a halt to the bout. Your winner by, and still, WBO Cruiserweight Nielsen! So let's take a look.